bed bugs, those blood-sucking nightmares of bedtime nursery rhymes, are back. Bed bugs are what we call ectoparasites. That means they feed externally on our blood. They have to eat our blood to survive. Bed bugs were largely eradicated in the U.S. by the 1940s thanks to heavy-duty pesticides that also controlled ant and cockroach populations. Now we have all new ways of controlling things like cockroaches and ants. We don't use so many residual insecticides. That's a good thing. The bad thing is the bed bugs that were being controlled by those residual pesticides are now coming back and exploding. That and an increase in global travel to countries where bed bugs are still common have all contributed to the insects' reemergence. The National Pest Management Association reported a 71% increase in calls about the critters since 2001. Websites like bedbugger.com have sprung up to offer tips on prevention and eradication, while online databases help travelers avoid motels and hotels where infestations have been found. Still, for anyone who's had bed bugs, there's no denying the stigma and embarrassment attached to it. But frankly, bed bugs are not an indication that you're an unclean housekeeper or that you're messy or that you live in squalor. Bed bugs can show up anywhere. In fact, humans and bed bugs have been roommates since prehistoric times. We think bed bugs evolved from a close relative called bat bugs. They actually lived on bats, and as we occupied caves with bats and perhaps birds, some of those early bed bug colonists jumped over on us, started to feed on us, and when we moved from one cave to the next, hey, guess what? Bed bugs came right along with us. Like little vampires, the bugs emerge at night lured by the carbon dioxide that you exhale as you sleep. They can hide in mattress seams, behind baseboards, or in almost any crack or crevice. And they're so elusive that it's usually their bite that gives them away. And very often, when a bed bug bites, we'll have a row of bites. These bites usually will start out as maybe a little red area that's pretty itchy and in some cases if people are allergic you can get quite a welt that swells up and causes a severe rash. Rob says to call a pest control professional if you think you do have an infestation since store-bought pesticides won't kill them. He also says that with a little vigilance and some bug detective work while traveling you can do a lot to avoid them altogether. You're looking for those rust-colored spots, and you're looking for the shed skins of these so, guys. So uh, you see skins. that in a hotel, hightail out of that hotel. Well, you asked to be comped, and you want another room. For Discovery News, I'm Jorge Ribas.